This place is just absolutely amazing. I'm out here with Alvaro from Wild Andalusia. Hello, Westman. How are you? <laughs> Very good, thank you. Good How are you doing? You. Very good. <laughs> um, he's been kind enough to take me up here to the hills at uh, El Torcal, is that yeah, El Torcal, El Torcal. Yeah. And we're looking for the Spanish Ibex. Are um, we lucky enough? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. We've seen one so far on the way up here on the drive, but it's very dark, so mostly right now we're looking at bats. Yeah. All this is limestone from the Jurassic. Yeah. It came out of the sea 150 million years ago. And actually we can find uh, fossils of uh, ammonites. Oh, it's really? And melanites as well. Yeah. And I'll try to, to, to find some of them up, up here. Have you ever found one? Yeah, it's yeah, a few ones. Yeah, nice. I don't know if the, you can pick up the bat that was flying around here. There's just one behind you. So hard to see. The light on the horizon here now is just amazing. You can't see that there, but maybe if I turn it up. And what we're hoping is for some ibex to come up on these little cliff tops here so we can get them in a silhouette with that nice sunrise in the back. amazing how many places something can hide here like an animal can hide just the rocks oh, everywhere yeah, sure, sure. there's so many lizards and snakes yeah that leave here too <laughs> it's fossils everywhere it's a bit of trash in it Light is amazing at the moment. Yeah. Oh, out there is just spectacular. How do you tell the difference between sexes? Because they both have horns, right? Yeah, the size of the horn. Size of the horn. So I would say the white, the horn. Mm -hmm. The males have a white, very white horn. And the female has this tiny, like your, your tribal, more or less. Okay. <laughs> Not more than that. So you can see the two horns, even they're long like this, but they're, they're, they're very thin. Okay. So can you tell if it's a, a kid, the, the young one? Yes, you, 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 you can tell a, a young kid from a, from from a, from a female piece. Yeah. At the moment you find uh, groups of females and cubs, mm -hmm. and then the other side is a group of males. Right. And they don't like to mix so much. No? At, the, at this time of the year. <laughs> then in the, when the heat season comes, yeah. 
in October, November. Then the milk can be a bit aggressive sometimes. And do they have harems? Like the, do they yeah, have they fight. or something? Or they fight? They fight, yeah. 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 Fight. You can hear them fighting. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. smack is head, you know, head this kind of, <laughs> Yeah. But this kind of fight that would not damage them. light has just started so now we just have to actually find some of these ibex so we can get closer to them. The last one here was a little bit far away but at least we've seen a couple. never even seen them, but the sounds are crazy. I would not want to be down there with them. <laughs> that sounds crazy sounds. <laughs> I just pointed out the tiniest bit of horns on the little outcrop of rocks there. I don't know how I spotted that, but I'm gonna go a little bit closer and have a look. Headed up to the left here. Try and get a bit closer so we can get a view. This is when you put it in your mouth and you go, and you go yeah. it went that way <laughs> two hours ago. <laughs> Female. <laughs> Alvaro just pointed out the black-eared wheat here just up on the hills here. Uh, really nice looking bird. I just saw for the first time ever the black wheat ear the other day. I think that's kind of... There's three you get here, is it? Yeah, yeah. and the three of them they, they breed here in Notre Okay, I northern guess one of, the, one of them we get at northern wheat ear, is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We get that, up north that's well. the one that is more likely to be found in higher mountains. Okay. 
but yeah, sometimes heat. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Just pointed on another one here. Blue rock thrush, yeah? Blue rock thrush. Blue rock thrush, yeah. yeah. It looked black and like a blackbird to me. <laughs> really cool. I've never seen one before. It's a pair of melodious warblers. Right here. What you can hear? Yeah. Slowly the cheeks. I meant to ask you about the, the hunting of the ibex here. Does that affect their population or uh, well, the hunting of ibex? Hunt ibex here in other Turkel, it's a yeah. nature reserve. They don't hunt them here. No. no okay. No. This is okay. So it makes me think what what happened? How did the population regulate themselves? Because they have, obviously they don't have any predator at the moment. No, no wolves no. anymore. Yeah. I guess winter are very hot here. Yeah. I was looking at uh, photos for Spanish Ibex and every fifth photo was like a hunter with a rifle and yeah. pulling it off. I was like, oh god, it's sad stuff. Yeah. Well, the Spanish Ibex is a, it's a species that has four subspecies. Yeah. So two of them are extinct. The sad story is that uh, two, two puts up on top of the rock. It's a blue rock thrush, female. Oh, very nice. Okay, I can see. Uh, oh. I can see. Look at a bit different there. Yeah. yeah, that was a better view. Last view, I think I just almost just looked like a black bird to me or something. A bit more grey. Yeah. Proud looking up. Uh, that's a good. That's a good tell to look out for. So how did the other um, ibex go extinct? Uh, two of them, two, two of the subspecies were extinct. The one in Portugal and uh, the one in the Pyrenees, uh -huh. what we call Bucardo. The last one was extinct in the year 2000. That's so sad. Wow. I, I take it they weren't hunting them then, were they? Yes. They were hunting. hunting yeah. They hunted them to extinction. Yes, yes. Wow. And it still goes on. Well, I guess not just hunting, but also habitat loss. Yeah. And now we have two subspecies, which uh, one is the ibex that you can see in Gredos Mountains, so in the northwest of Spain, uh -huh. and even Portugal. Uh -huh. And you can find these other subspecies in the southeast, yeah. which is the Capra hispanica, uh, Capra pirraica hispanica. Uh -huh. And this is a real endemic species yeah. to Spain. So it's great animal to look for. Oh, nice. Do they do they control the hunting now better, do you think? Oh, for sure. sure yeah. We have, have to improve a lot of on our environmental protection laws in Spain. Yeah. Although there's still a lot to do. But they're quite careful now to not lose another species, I suppose. Yeah, no, that's not likely to happen anymore. No. This is not the kind of place to walk around and keep looking at everything that's around here like I do and I'm sure many of you do too if you're into wildlife and birds and these kind of things because the rocks are treacherous here. You have to watch your every step. Finally got a couple of more ibex here. One uh, female up on that top cliff over there, and Alvaro thinks it might be a male because of the slightly thicker horns, um, bigger horns than this one sitting over there. That's a crazy, outstanding background for these things. He's 
dieback's are quite far away, but it's quite nice to try and capture a silhouette of them, especially with those faraway mountains in the distance. <laughs> Just got about seven or so ibex over here, if not more. It's getting hotter and these places are quite tricky to walk. Alvaro is in his element here. He's just jumping these rocks like I thought I was a bit of a mountain goat, but he beats me. Jeez. And then shoes get filled up with things like these. <laughs> well, I'm still really enjoying this. And we've had a good few close encounters now with some ibex. Uh, mostly females and a young male or two. So now, before the light gets too harsh and too high in the sky, we're going to walk this direction here. And it's kind of towards where we started the day at sunrise. And hopefully, we'll catch up with some male ibex as well. That is pretty much it for today. It's been an amazing day. Came up here, how is it? Sunrise was probably about seven when we were here. Oh, before that, I think. Yeah, before so, that, I think we'd be here at six. Six o'clock, yeah. yeah. Um, had some great views. Um, saw some really cool ibex. Uh, actually got some photos towards the end there. Uh, didn't have the big male, which we were looking for. Has there been a reason to come back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Maybe I'll Photoshop one in, I just uh, in an image. Capacity <laughs> <laughs> <your> pictures. Yeah. <laughs> so, but well, it was really good. We did see some really good bird species as well. Oh, yeah. um, what did we get there? We had, uh, what was it towards the end? Was our, uh, the common rock, rock thrush, or the rufous tailed rock thrush. Was amazing. Blue rock thrush as well. Blue rock thrush. Lucky yeah. and wheat, yeah. That was, yes. That was, a, that was a good few new ones for me that I've never seen before. So really excited about that and some griffin vultures yeah. towards the end there which i was very excited about but alvaro pretty much has them in his back garden so you can, can see them from the like, office eh. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> so just just another one of those for him but it's been a really good day and uh, i'll put the link to alvaro's website and social media in the uh, description so you can check it out he does wildlife tours here in andalusia and you're also starting some in northern Spain on uh, yeah, Lux. yeah. We're yeah. going to do the whole the whole country and Morocco yeah. as well. Nice, yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Links so. tours in winter and everything that is wild. 
that moves would go for it. Very good, yeah. Oh, I can definitely recommend that. So do check it out if you ever come to Spain and you want a little bit of insider knowledge and yeah, somebody to f find those tricky, tricky bird species and mammals and things like that. So do yeah. check it out. Thank you very much, it's been. No worries. Thank you for taking me out. It's been a pleasure. So unless we see something really cool on the way down now, that's it for this episode. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.